and my brothers and sisters uh, today this morning someone called me and asked me like this brother tomorrow palm sunday i cannot go to my parish can you tell me any one of the good uh, program which i can follow online which is best and good which is best and good so i said what you mean he said i want to follow palm sunday celebration online but which groups uh, does the best service so i will join that one i was really confused you see the holy mass which is celebrated on every altar is same because jesus is same yesterday today forever and always even now also so never think that in that altar the jesus is more powerful than this altar so there is no point of searching which is the best service online there are many people those who are telecasting services online every diocese will have sometime every parishes also will have and every routine centers will have and every prayer groups will have but if you ask me which is the best one i cannot answer you now i can answer you which is the best one in preaching the word of god because i i know some people they break the word of god little better and you will understand the language is good and perfection is there but if you ask me about the church service i will say every church service is same now you don't look after the masala of the service but the content because it's a sacrament okay first you must know that now if you ask me which one to follow i honestly from the depth of my heart i will tell you your diocese may broadcast a link each diocese will have their own programs and if you can follow your diocese program then you know what will have, what will be you are in the same family but when you are attending routine you can attend routine in any programs which is telecasted by any groups anywhere anyhow because all is helpful and useful for you and for me for everyone i do the same now i attend uh, now i am uh, from ernakulam archdiocese so when i attend the services online i follow the decision programs uh, good evening and uh, praise the lord i think all of you are well praying for that this morning also i did one uh, malayalam episode live episode and uh, many people joined with me in prayer and in meditation but i could not post it something happened with fb and they have did not uh, posted the video it's not available there now anyway now i am here with you with an english live video and for me to know that you are watching and you are listening if you can say one hi or one good evening i'll be happy and if you can post your prayer request we all will be praying together now what i want to discuss is from the letter of saint paul to titus titus is one of the small book in the bible in the new testament titus chapter 3 verses 1 to 11 i repeat titus chapter 3 verses 1 to 11 let me read the first word chapter 3 verses 1 okay someone said sonia glare in high let me read the word of god for you because this is very important and everyone must meditate this word okay this is titus chapter 3 verses 1 to 11 maintain good deeds remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities here saint paul asking Titus to teach his church people maintain good deeds remain them to be submissive to the rulers and authorities of this earth so saint paul clearly asking titus you must teach the people those who are coming in your church to be submissive to be obedient to the government of the country where you are so whatever your state government says whatever the medical department says whatever the policeman says and whatever the law in your country you must follow now why i say this right now is because you know this may be the first palm sunday we are going to celebrate without any leaf in our hand and we are not going to church and we are not going to be in a community so it is very heartbreaking and painful there may be some people thinking that without knowledge of anyone i may go i want to tell you it is god's word be submissive to the authorities of your country and saint paul clearly instruct titus you must teach this in the church so my brothers and sisters never do that you know that 
what have done by the Muslims there in Nizamuddin. And today also in Kerala, there was two or few people were arrested because they went to Masjid for the Jumana Mas today, Friday. That same mistake we should not do at any cost. Take a strong decision, whatever it is a situation, however I am prompted spiritually to go to church for Palm Sunday, try to avoid it. Because the word of God says, should not be submissive to the rulers. The medical department says some rules and the government says some rules and you and I have to be submissive and obedient to the rules. I didn't say, word of God says, Titus chapter three verses, one to 11 I'm reading and the first one I read, once again, I will read it for you. Maintain good deeds or remind the church people to be submissive to the rulers and authorities. Now, now the second word, to be obedient, to be ready for any honest work. You see, St. Paul asking Titus to teach his church uh, practicing people, they should be obedient and they should be ready to do any good work. So this time what you have to do is, if you wanna do anything good, when the people are suffering with COVID, you must be the first one to do it. Maybe by giving food for the really needy, maybe by hospital assistant, if you are a nurse or a doctor, or if you are invited by the state government to be a volunteer for any support, you should be the first one. I think the Christians should be the first one because that's what the St. Paul says. Maintain good deeds and remind them to be submissive to the rulers and authorities, to be obedient and to be ready for any good work, any honest work. So we Christians should be in the front line to do some charity in the state where you are, in the district where you are, in the country where you are to speak evil of no one. So St. Paul asking Titus, you must teach everyone, those who come to your church, that they should not speak They should not speak evil about anyone. Now we have a tendency to spread bad rumors about the coronavirus everywhere now. I think that itself is a virus now, wrong information about the healing, about the medicine, about the power, about the judgment. And we are spending a lot of unwanted rumors. And the Bible says you should not be the one. Those who go to Christian churches, those who pray to the trying God should not do this mistake. We should not spend wrong messages anywhere, anyhow. Now, what happened in Kerala? I have seen some people, they are speaking ill about the workers, those who came to Kerala from different parts of another uh, state from uh, from India or from abroad even. And sometimes they, be ha they were having some trouble with the uh, overseas Malayalis, you know, they were working overseas. They came here and they were uh, diagnosed with COVID. And then the people says the Pravasis, which means the overseas people, are troubling us that this and no this is not the time to speak evil about anyone because bible says to speak evil of no one to avoid quarreling and there should not be unwanted fighting also today also i have seen you know uh, the the fighting between the parties and the government uh, 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 what is all the servants each other that should not be the way and then to be gentle and to show perfect courtesy towards all men. So once again, I will read these three verses, what I read from Titus chapter three, verses one to 11. Maintain good deeds, remind them to be submissive to the rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for any honest work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle and to show perfect courtesy towards everyone. Without religion, without caste, without color, without language, you must show the respect and reverence to everyone. That's what the Bible says. The saying is sure. I desire you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to apply themselves to do good deeds. Those who believe in God must do good deeds. And those who do not believe in God may not do good because they don't have a motive to do it. Because for you to do something good, there should be a motive, you know. And if you believe in God, there is a motive that you always think about your eternity. So you will be able to do good a lot. These are excellent and profitable for men. Okay, all the Christians must do good deeds because it is profitable for men. So when you do something, you must meditate and you must ask the Lord, is it profitable for human being? Yeah, whatever it may be. When you want to say something, when you want to read something, when you want to act something, when you want to do anything, you must ask, is it profitable for a human being? Not only for me, my family, for everyone. So do the things which is profitable for others also. But avoid stupid controversies. Stupid controversies, something very important. Now what happened? 
on social media when you are available on social media unwanted stupid arguments will be keep on going someone will provoke you by one comment and you will retaliate it this has happened today for one mla in kerala you know uh, people try to provoke you and stir up your anger and you will open your mouth and you will see some unwanted things and then immediately that becomes another problem so you will be judged by your own words so when people are trying to create trouble you must avoid those unwanted quarrels that's what the bible says Amanda Disusa pray for all those who are affected by corona virus covid yeah we are praying amanda and you also join with us sandosh kumar and jasudas marshalle as well as john thomas many are saying to pray and we are all praying okay but avoid stupid controversies genealogies discussions and quarrels over the law for they are unprofitable and futile wow sometime even the christians those who are very prayerful you know they have unwanted quarrel about genealogy you know about our the tradition of our church my church is so and so my church is so and so my uh, uh, tradition is like this my worship method is like this my sacrament is like this you know uh, uh, my right is like this my prayer uh, method is like this and that this we are unwanted quarrel bible says try to avoid this because it is not profitable for any human being i think this is what happens sometime in our prayer group you know we are arguing each other fighting each other and you know parish to parish diocese to diocese and the states to state and language to language we are fighting each other unwanted with unwanted traditions i'll read that once again for you my brothers and sisters but avoid the stupid controversies genealogies dissensions and quarrels over the law for they are unprofitable and futile so there should not be also among us now about the uh, palm sunday there will be many people with different ideas they will teach you but try to avoid all those things okay and then ask for a man who is anxious after admonishing him once or twice have nothing more to do with him knowing that such a person is perverted and sinful he is self condemned so if someone is very often unwanted quarreling and fighting and tr- uh, creating trouble for you means you must avoid that person completely and you should not keep him like a gentile you know let him be little away from us that's all